Hey guys, it's Pat from the Nerds You're Looking For a Podcast, and I'm back for my last walkthrough video of TMNT Mutants in Manhattan. This is episode 9. As you can see, the stage is Shredder, so that being kind of the big bad in the TMNT universe, you know that it is the last stage. There has been 9 stages, hence 9 episodes. And all in all, if you've been watching these videos, which I appreciate, of course, you know that I've not been a huge fan of this game. I've been, I was really looking forward to it when it first got announced, and I was looking forward to it when it got released, and unfortunately it's been very disappointing. I've liked aspects of the games. I like that April has a pretty decent rack. I have a thing for Redhead, so that's, that's nice. Uh, she's not quite a teenager in this. <laughs> in this game versus the Fox TV show, so I can be safe to say that I am digging her right now. But anyways, that being said, I, I came off as a total creep right there, but I'm kind of glad it's over. It's been a very cool game as far as the turtles, like the, the look of them and the look of the environment and some of the gameplay has been cool. Uh, last episode was kind of chaotic. I didn't, uh, play very well to say the least it was we were kind of down to our last continue and it was kind of stressful and very chaotic but for the most part it's been pretty easy and uh just really repetitive kind of go from one place to another kind of defuse these bombs defeat these enemies take this weapon from this place to that place and it's been pretty pretty straightforward I'm assuming that most of this is just going to be uh, the Shredder battle. Hopefully it's kind of like Wingnut was a couple episodes ago where it was like a two-tiered battle where you had to beat him and then you had to beat him in a different kind of iteration, which I thought was kind of cool. It was a little bit different from the ones that we had to beat earlier where it was just kind of like, oh, he had seven bars of life and you just had to beat him that one time. Oh shit, that, I've never seen him blow up like that before. This reminds me a lot of the first episode or the first stage of Krang. Just the general Krang where you kind of had to go through the gauntlet. So I'm guessing that we will have to do that as well. I was trying to do my UFO attack but I was hitting the wrong button. So that's why I was kind of flipping around like a, an, an idiot, a lunatic. But yeah. So this reminds me a lot of that first thing with Krang, just kind of going through the gauntlet of all the the enemies that you've had to face so far. I love Mikey. He can really uh, throw his nunchucks in this game and, and really run up those combos. It's pretty sick. So pretty straightforward. I don't know if that's what the S stands for or not, but yeah, I mean, just you're going up the elevator and you defeat the enemies as they come. Oh, I guess we're not done yet. I spoke too soon. Nice. I really dig that super shirkin or whatever they're called. Special move just because now that we've leveled it completely up, it has a really short cooldown. I think it's like 20 seconds. And so it's super helpful to just kind of knock them out real quick. It's super strong and has a really quick cool down so it's very very helpful and it's very easy to hit them with it because it kind of just zeroes in on the enemy and it hits them pretty much no matter where they're at so it's very very helpful I also love that home run swing too <laughs> just looks so badass I love this UFO as well because it, it's kind of hurting them as you're kind of going around doing your thing. So it's super helpful in that aspect. The only bad thing is that the cooldown is really long. So you're basically 
one you get it once a boss battle. Ah, it's getting kind of intense. I'm gonna take Mikey back. Somebody come help me. Are you kidding? Shit. Well, that was super helpful. <laughs> Where was that a little bit ago? Why do you keep getting in his way? Oh, I wasted that. So it's basically exactly like the Krang level. You're just kind of making your way through the gauntlet. Hopefully we don't have to fight any bosses. I'm guessing this is probably Shredder right here. All right, here we go. So now we're going to be fighting him on a floor, floating platform. Oh yeah? Let's do it. This is it, Shredder. This ends here. By the time we're done with you, you're going to need a can opener to take your armor off. Oh, that's clever. I'm sure they haven't heard that one before. Oh, I forgot I had invincibility. Uh, only had it for a little bit. Oh shit. <laughs> oh, that was a waste.
All right, so stay away from him now. This is going to be bad. I think this might be it. Nice! <laughs> Got him! That was actually a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. I'm really kind of hoping that's not it, though. No way. I mean, I guess I shouldn't be too surprised because, I mean, this game has been pretty easy. Other than the last episode, it, it was it was fairly easy. So that's it, guys. So that is uh, TMNT Mutants in Manhattan. Uh, we usually rate things out of five stars. If I had to give this a, fi uh, a rating out of five stars, I would have to say... That this is probably a, a two and a half, probably be lower if I wasn't such a big TMNT fan. But I did enjoy kind of hanging out with the turtles for a little bit, so that was cool. I liked that it was an original concept. The story itself wasn't all that dense, which I guess is a good thing for turtles. But I mean, they have such a rich backstory that they could have done a lot more with the story. So that was a little bit disappointing. I did like, like I've said in many videos, and, and this one in particular as well, that the graphics were cool. I liked the design of the turtles. The environment kind of felt like a comic book. They were fun. I mean, they were kind of like the 87 cartoon. They weren't quite as dark as the comic book version. So I liked that. Uh, I liked that they had special combos. But for the most part, the levels were really repetitive. They used a lot of the same scenery for the levels and it was just kind of like go from one thing to another and and then eventually work your way up to a boss every single stage except for the krang stage which was really cool it felt kind of like a gauntlet and you had to go through each boss that you've already faced which was really cool so i i other than that that particular level this game was really disappointing like i said if i wasn't such a hardcore tmnt fan maybe i give it a two or maybe even a 1.5 it definitely does not have any replay value. So that's it for TMNT Mutants in Manhattan. As always, you can comment and subscribe below. Check us out on all the social media, the Nerds You're Looking For podcast. I will put all of the links in the video description for Patrick Kuhn. I am the Nerd You're Looking For. Take it easy, guys.